okay so uh, now moving on to the second activity which is the uh, database activity so once again reminding you if you have any uh, questions or if you require the database files you can drop a message to this email address okay and as soon as possible I'll get back to you with a reply okay so now moving on to the second activity task a2 which is related to Microsoft access okay over here it says uh, Simon has collected information about the holidays and the clients who are booked to go on them. He has saved the information in the database holidays. Okay, so we should be having a database called holidays. Let me quickly check it up. Uh, when I come back to my folder, I do have a database called holidays. Okay, uh, the destination table includes information about the holidays on offer. Okay, so now you need to have an understanding of what the destination table includes. It has information about the holidays that are on offer. Then there is also something called a clients table and this includes information about the clients. Okay, so first it says open the holiday database. So let's open it up and then it says open the. So let's click on enable content. And then it goes on to say open the destinations table. Okay, so on the left hand side you can see we have the destinations table. Okay, let's open this up as well. Okay. Uh, coming back to our question paper over here they have given you the structure of the destination table okay this is for you to have a better understanding of what each field is about so the holiday ID is simply a code to identify the holidays country you know what it means region you know what it means dive boat company number of days so what does number of days means number of days is basically the length of that holiday and then we have something called live aboard live aboard or day boat what does this mean so living on the boat for the duration of the holiday or staying in a hotel and using the boat for day trips okay so there are two types of options that uh, customers will be having either they can go with live aboard or day boat and uh, when they select live aboard uh, it's about uh, living on the boat and if you and if the customer plans to uh, use the boat only for traveling purposes it goes as day boat okay so this is just giving you an idea what each field means okay now over here it says open a new word document set the orientation to landscape uh, enter the following details in the header and you're supposed to save the document as task a2 okay so let me come to my folder let me right click and say I want a new uh, word document and uh, let's save it as task a2 immediately let's uh, go into the footer let's run into the footer we can close the previous document can be closed so let's go into the header sorry header and we have to enter task a2 your name your candidate number and your center number okay so these details have been had have been entered okay so this time what I did was I simply came and double clicked and the header opened okay so you also can use that uh, then the question paper goes on to say uh, Simon wants uh, so we forgot about this orientation has to be set to landscape okay so do not forget to do that as well right now we are in an orientation called portrait okay so you can see the paper is long okay so right now we need to make it landscape where the paper will be wide okay so we can come to layout you can come to orientation and you can change it to landscape you want the paper to be landscape okay uh, then the question paper goes on to say Simon wants to use a form and to add more holidays to the destinations table okay so create a form for the destinations table okay so the form must do the following so let us first initially create the form thereafter we can come back and obey each of these okay so when we come to our uh, database first make sure you have the correct table opened which is the destinations table then come into create and here you have so many options for form okay my recommendation to you would be simply go and click on this okay so when you click on this the computer will create the entire form for you with within a second the entire form is created for you by the computer itself that makes your work so much more easier okay as you can see the form has now been created for you okay uh, now let's come back to the question paper and see one by one what should be done okay so first it says match the house style so I do hope you remember at the beginning of this paper I told you there's something known as house style that we need to obey for company documents so it says all headings are bold and italic okay so the heading for the form should be bold and italic okay so what you can do is once you come to your form there are different views for your form okay so if you come to the home tab can you see you have something called form view form view is the view that you will be using to enter data into your form 
then you have something called layout view so layout view can be used to arrange your fields if you want to arrange anything on your form you can use layout view and then you have something called design view so design view gives you more options to put into your form okay if you want to edit a bit of advanced edit editing if you want to do you can come into design view okay so let us remain in design view let's remain in design view and uh, the first thing was it has to obey the house style and house style said all headings are bold and italic so let's do that let's select the heading let's come to form uh, sorry arrange sorry format and let's make it bold and let's make it italic okay uh, the next house style is the logo is always there in the top left hand corner okay so when it comes to inserting the logo what i will be doing is i'll be coming to arrange and sorry i'll be coming to form design okay and instead of using this logo option because when you use this logo option the logo does not appear very properly i prefer to use this insert image option because when i use insert image i have freedom in putting the image the logo wherever i want however big i want okay so this insert image gives me much more options than this insert logo option so i'll be going ahead with this so i have to come over here i have to browse it so where is my logo kept my logo is kept on the desktop inside uh, 2019 inside the images folder this is where my logo is okay so when i say okay my computer is asking me okay where do you want to draw it so can you see the cursor so i say it has to be in the top left hand corner so somewhere here would be perfect okay as you can see my logo has appeared okay uh, if you want you can also remove this from the background just delete that and then bring this over here okay that's better uh, why is that not moving okay this is refusing to move upwards anyways no problem uh, let's go down back to our question then it says it should have a suitable title okay so remember we are creating a forms for we are creating a form for the destinations table so what is the destinations table all about is remember over here includes information about the holidays on offer so instead of just having a title as destinations let's put the title as holidays on offer isn't it that makes more sense as a title okay so let's change this to holidays on offer holidays on offer okay uh, then coming back again to our question paper it says it should be customized so that all fields have a font size of 14 okay so all the fields should have a font size of 14 so these are the fields okay these are the fields okay so what we can do is we can click on uh, this and we can come to format and we can make this size 14 okay so what we can do is we can select all of them by using the control key So while pressing the control key I selected each of them and now you can make them size 14 enter so all of them have become size 14 uh, next the question paper says they should be aligned into the center so once again they are all selected so just come to the format tab and say you want them to be center aligned okay so so far you have done everything that they have asked for and then finally they say save the form as destinations underscore form okay so you can just come over to the save button click on save and say you want it to be destinations underscore form and say okay okay so as you can see on the left hand side your form has now got saved okay it's called destinations underscore form then if you move on to task a to b it says celtic spring scuba has organized a new holiday okay use the destinations form you created in task a to a to add these details to the destinations table so these are the details that you need to add them okay so now right now we are in design view and i told you design view is where you can do advanced editing to your form okay once you want to start entering data into your form you need to go back into form view so come back to the home tab click on view and say you want to come back to the form view okay so in form view you can see the data that that is currently in the destinations table and at the bottom you can go from the first form to the second form third form fourth form okay so right now i want to enter a brand new a piece of data okay i want to enter a brand new destination okay so i need a blank form so if you carefully watch my cursor can you see this particular arrow with the yellow color star is the button for a new blank record so when i click on that i get a blank form to enter my details okay so what are the details the first thing is holiday id is sa1 so i type sa1 
the country is South Africa and uh, region is Mabibi dive boat company is Explorer so we can say Mabibi Explorer number of days is how many days so number of days is seven and live aboard okay so we can click on this drop down we can say seven and from here we can say it's live aboard okay now once you have entered your data once the data has been entered okay uh, please make sure you click on save because once you click on save the data will be then saved in this form and then automatically it will be taken into the destinations table however when you come into the destinations table you will notice that South Africa has still not come here even though you pressed on the save button okay just keep in mind in order for the data to come into the table you need to close the table and open it again okay so let's close the table and let's open it again and if you look very carefully you can see now South Africa has appeared okay then the question paper goes on to say take a screenshot of the completed form paste a screenshot into document task a2 okay so let's go back to our form okay so this is our form uh, we are supposed to be taking a screenshot so I'll be using the snipping tool snipping tool so I have this tool with me it's called the uh, snipping tool okay you can press start and you can type snipping you will get this tool or even you can use the print screen button on your keyboard you can just pre press that button it will take a screenshot you can go to Microsoft Word and press control V to paste it okay I prefer this so I'm gonna click on this new snip okay uh, this app can't be opened okay no probs uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Windows shift s and I'm gonna be taking a screenshot okay since I'm using a screen recorder it's not allowing me to take a screenshot right now uh, see let's try once more copy to clipboard and let's see if this will allow me to paste it it doesn't allow me okay so guys I'm unable to take a uh, paste a screenshot because uh, yeah I'm unable to take a screenshot okay so I hope you know how to take a screenshot you just have to press the print screen button on your keyboard somewhere on the top area you will find a print screen button you can just press that button and you can take a screenshot of your form okay and then you just have to come over here and you can paste it you can press Control V and it will get pasted okay uh, moving on to the next question task A to C so task A to C it says sort the destinations table by country into alphabetical order sort the destinations table by country into alphabetical order so when you come to your destinations table you have country over here so select the entire column and they have told you to sort it alphabetical order so you have to go in ascending alphabetical order means ascending order so you can simply click on this and right now this entire column has got sorted for you okay then next it says resave the destinations table okay so let me do that resave it then it goes on to say take a screenshot paste a screenshot I'm unable to do the screenshot part as I explained to you previously uh, make sure that all the data is displayed on one side of A4 and is easy to read resave task A2 do not print at this stage okay so make sure you have your documents pasted and make sh make sure that the table that you just pasted fits one A4 paper okay is it clear the document that you the, the, the screenshot that you just took of the table it should fit one A4 paper okay then moving on to the next uh, query uh, not query moving on to the next activity which is a query uh, it over here it says task A2D Simon wants a list of holidays that are live aboard seven days duration and use blue water dive boats so create a query on the destinations table to produce the list okay so what you can do over here is we have to come to create okay and I prefer to use query design if you want you can use query wizard as well but I prefer query design a lot more so I'm gonna stick to query design okay and then in the question paper they told us very specifically to create it based on the destinations table okay so on the right hand side you can see we have the destinations table okay as you can see where my cursor is let me take the destinations table and let's see what needs to be done okay so uh, it says save the query as live aboard take a screenshot paste a copy okay before all that let us come over here the list must show only these fields in this order holiday ID region and country so holiday ID 
region and country needs to be displayed in my query so you can see i have got those three fields over here and this box has been ticked as well which means show them in my uh, results okay i'll show you later on what it means uh, then it goes on to say now if you come back to the criteria if you come back over here it says the first thing is they should be live aboard okay they only want to see the holidays that are live aboard or live aboard i don't know exactly how it is pronounced okay so you have to get that field live aboard or live aboard you have to get this field okay and make sure that you do not show it okay because in the question paper they did not tell us to show live aboard okay so I took live aboard but I did not show it and my criteria is I want only the live aboard uh, data okay I do not want the the other one the day boat I don't want I want only live aboard so I come to my criteria and inside double quotes inside double quotes I type live aboard okay because I only want the live aboard data okay then the next criteria was it should be seven days in duration okay so I will also be taking duration so where do we have duration duration is uh, not here number of days sorry number of days is duration once again i will not be showing this field and i want the number seven okay and the third criteria is uh, they should be blue water dive boats okay so the dive boat company i'll be taking dive boat company but i will not be showing it the criteria is they should be blue water okay so let me put in double quotes blue water okay now something very important to keep in mind is when you come to the destinations table you will notice that when it comes to the do uh, dive boat company you have two types of blue waters you have blue water one and you have blue water two okay there are two types of blue water companies so make sure in your criteria that you include both of them okay so you have to say blue water one or blue water too okay so instead of typing it let me copy and paste this copy let me come over here make sure inside double quotes you type this okay so let me put the double quotes and paste this so I need either blue water one let's make this bigger or I need blue water two okay so let's copy and paste this as well copy put double quotes paste this inside the double quotes okay so they have to be live aboard they have to be seven days duration or they have to be blue water one or blue water two okay is there anything else that needs to be done they need to be sorted in descending order of holiday id be sorted in descending order of holiday id so come over to holiday id which is over here and say you want it to be in descending order okay is there anything else that needs to be done so the criteria we have put we have shown the correct fields we have done the sorting okay so then let us run the query let us see if the query is working so if you come to the query design tab you have a run button let's click on run and uh, these are the two results that you're getting okay there are only two results that are appearing okay so how are we supposed to save it we are supposed to save it as li live aboard or live aboard so let's click on save and let's say live aboard and say okay you can see your query has got saved over here and then the next thing it says is take a screenshot so screenshot part I am unable to take right now so you guys can take a screenshot you have the print screen button on your keyboard you can press that come to Microsoft Word come to task A2 and press Control V or you can use a snipping tool or even you can use a shortcut key which goes as Windows Shift S so when you press Windows Shift S it goes into screenshot mode so you can take a screenshot and come to Microsoft Word and paste it okay uh, so over here again it says display the ordered and sorted results take a screenshot again paste a copy of the results resave task a2 okay so uh, there is another activity coming up task a2e uh, this activity we will be doing it in our next video